Soil solution analysis is a great way to monitor the movement and status of certain nutrients in the soil and soil salinity. It can help you identify if you are fertilizing or irrigating too heavily and washing and wasting your nutrients past the root zone, or under irrigating and concentrating salts within the root zone. And also it improves environmental sustainability. This video will provide a brief introduction into this technology. Soil solution analysis is the extracting of soil water by various instruments and then analyzing the soil solutions for nutrient concentrations. There are currently two methods to extract soil solution. The first is the wetting front detector and the second is the ceramic sampler. The commercial model of a wetting front detector is the full stop and it's a type of funnel that's buried under the ground. Then as soil moisture moves down the profile it then concentrates in the funnel, moves down the channel and fills the reservoir. When the reservoir fills a small indicator at the top of the unit pops up. This indicates that soil moisture has reached about this level. The indicator is a great feature because it can help growers identify how many hours of irrigation are required to reach at a certain soil depth. The soil solution can be extracted from the reservoir via this pipe and a syringe. The full stops can only be placed to a maximum depth of about 50 centimeters below the ground. This is because after 50 centimetres, wetting fronts are not strong enough to collect into the funnel. There are various types of ceramic samplers on the market, such as this 20 mm wide sampler and this 40 mm wide sampler, and you can even make your own. The ceramic samplers can be installed at any depth in the soil. To extract a soil solution, air needs to be pulled out of this tube via the syringe. This causes a negative air pressure inside the tube so over a day or so, soil solution gets pulled into the tube via the ceramic tip. There are slightly different specifications on the ceramic tip's characteristics between manufacturers and models. You need to make sure you get one that suits your conditions. The limitation of soil solution extraction devices is that they require an irrigation or major rainfall event for a sufficient volume of sample to be taken. The results can also be variable within a block due to the complex nature of soils and how water and nutrients move and interact in the soil. It's advisable to install at least three sites in a block until you can gain confidence that sampling sites are generally providing similar results. For research purposes, you might require five or more sites. Soil solution analysis should be used in conjunction with soil moisture monitoring devices such as a tensiometer or capacitance probe because although you might know the concentration of a nutrient at a certain depth, you also need the soil moisture data to help you determine if the waters and nutrients are moving fast or slowly past the root zone. Soil solution analysis is especially good at identifying when soil salinity levels begin to rise so you can apply leaching irrigation to move the salts out of the root zone before any visual symptoms occur and continue to grow a healthy crop. Once you see salt damage, crop and yield damage probably has already occurred. Soil solution analysis has been around for over a hundred years. It's been used in many research projects and is now is starting to be used by growers of a wide variety of crops as a crop management tool. For more information on soil solution analysis, you can watch other soil solution videos that include information on installation, sampling, manufacture, analysis methods and interpretation. You can also download the soil solution report and fact sheet from the New South Wales Industry and Investment website. And for more information on the full stop wetting front detector, you can download this from the full stop website.